So, bit of a story to this one. Uh, as you probably know, a few of us here in Norwich are opening a geek pub thing, and I was round the back of it uh, scrubbing walls because the whole thing's been vacated for sort of five, six years, basically. And I went to empty the dirty bucket of water I had, and I looked out of the window down into this little area which cannot be accessed except from inside of the pub itself. So nobody had been down there for, yeah, five or six years. And do you know what I spotted? I spotted this! Yes, in an area under an overhang, with an awful lot of pigeon poo, there was a bottle of Diet Pepsi. And of course, I had to take it. For science! That's why I'm wearing gloves. Here it is now. Mmm. Oh, hang on. This bag is an awful lot bigger than I thought it was. It's in here somewhere, I'm sure. Here we go, here we go. Uh, I don't really want that touching the sofa. Uh, yes, mint condition. <laughs> Diet Pepsi. Oh, oh, it's, oh, I've got pigeon poo on the sofa. I was trying to avoid that in general and specifically. Um, yeah. So the question is, what happens to Diet Pepsi after it's been sat outside unopened for over five years? Well, first thing we need to do is try and check the uh, best before date. There's something on there. Jan, can you make that Jan fourteen? Is that when it was made? Or is that the best before date? I don't know. It seems unlikely to be the best before date, unless it had been out there for years before they actually closed the... Pro that's a possibility. It is a possibility. And um, yeah, conditions not amazing, to be brutally honest with you. As you may have noticed, it's covered in pups, um, which is never amazing. So let's have a think about this. The first thing to look at is the cap. Focus, thank you. Um, it's quite rusty, <clears throat> as one would expect. The bottle seems all right. It doesn't seem to have leaked or anything. So I suppose really the fact that the, well, that the bottle is caked in horror is kind of irrelevant and probably won't have affected it much. I think what will have affected this is A, the passage of time and B, the fact it's been outside. So it's been down to like sub-zero temperatures and up to very hot temperatures as well, depending on the time of year. It also looks like an area where it may get direct sunlight at certain points. So uh, yeah, it's probably been quite warm. I'm going to go and clean this in a minute and see if we can garner some more information from it. And more to the point, I don't want to open it when it's still plastered in, yeah, literal excrement. So let's do a quick rotate. For anybody who wants the 360 degree view, mm -mm -mm. there's the top and there's the bottom. Ugh. Right, let's jump cut to having cleaned this thing. Well, that seems to have scrubbed up mostly all right. Um, yeah, some of the sticky stuff from the, I think stuff come up from the label down there. But otherwise, yeah, it's always better when something isn't covered in pigeon poo. That's my own personal experience anyway. Yours may differ. So something I spotted from here, uh, Best before end, see neck. Yep, it is inexplicably nine years out of date. January 2014. If we can get that up, there we are. Yep, ah, that's easier. Um, so I don't know how long it's been outside. It's been outside for at least five and a half years minimum, quite possibly up to the full nine. I just don't know. But what I can tell you is I've tried a lot of different types of cola over the years. They're always putting different things in it, aren't they? Like uh, lemon and lime and vanilla and cherry and all the other stuff. But I think this is the first time I've ever tried bird shit Pepsi. Right, okie doke, let's grab... Oh God, right, <laughs> here we go. I feel, I feel there should be some sort of drum roll for this. Hang on, I've got the uh, noise machine actually, ready? Okay, that didn't go as I expected, because I forgot that this makes stupid noises from uh, Betty Boop. And also, it didn't take the top off. Hang on. Thanks, Betty. I want to be loved by you. Sh shut up, Betty. Be Betty. Um, be shut up. <laughs> oh, God. There was a release of gas. And I'm not just talking about Betty shouting there. Oh, look at that. Dun, 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 dun. 
looks weirdly clear. Hopefully that's just a layer of bubbles on top. Um, because it's not clear down inside. Can we see that without spilling it everywhere? Yes, we can. There we are, look. Right, time for a quick huff. What does it smell like? Just smells exactly like Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> My god, do you think it's going to be the same? Anyway, occasions like this I like to break out the best glassware. Into the crystal with you. It's still fizzy. That's astonishing. I'm putting that down very carefully to the left there. Right, let's smell it now. Oh, that's not right. No, now it's been decanted. The smell is is very hard to describe. It's still very sort of Pepsi smell, but there's kind of a weird extra edge to it. I can't describe like a sort of musky edge. Yeah, I can't really describe what that is. It's very odd. It's like somebody's dropped some alcohol or aftershave or something in it. I can't really describe it. Anyway, I am now going to sample a tiny, tiny sip of this. The tiniest sip in human history. Because it's going to be bad, I reckon. Chin chin. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Yeah, that doesn't taste of Pepsi at all anymore. Oh. It just tastes of, like... I don't know how to describe it, slightly off water. Perhaps a hint of um, something, ugh, I don't want to say alcohol, but that kind of fermentation sort of thing going on. Oh, oh it also weirdly stayed on the thing where I sipped it. Ugh, ugh. Oh dear. Oh, that's that's not good. That's, as predicted, it's not good. I'm going to have to spit that back in, actually. Oh, oh. Yep. I think what we've learned today is that against all common sense <laughs> massively outdated diet pepsi that's been left out <laughs> in the open for like years and years and years isn't very nice who would have known who could possibly have guessed oh dear that was yeah that's a taste i'm not going to forget um and yeah it wasn't it's just sort of subtly off it's mostly sort of nothing really odd really odd I'm going to look at the bottle now and see if stuff has sort of... Now, I was going to say, has stuff sort of fallen to the bottom? But no, there's nothing... It's, it's entirely even all the way throughout, as one would expect from a drink of that type, I suppose. Right, I'm going to wash my mouth out with napalm. Take care, and I'll see you later! I <laughs> just had to add this bit, right? So, just as I was putting things away, I noticed there was a book at the side of the sofa that was delivered this morning that I'd left there. That's the book. <laughs> <laughs> That's been sitting next to me the whole time I've been doing this. I didn't even realise. Come, boy, boy.